David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another ink review. Today, I have for you a new limited edition ink from Papier Plume. The name of the ink is Carolina In My Mind. The ink has been created to be released at the Triangle Pen Show, which takes place in the Raleigh-Durham area this upcoming weekend. As Papier Plume has done several times previously, they create a themed ink for a pen show. Uh, attendees can purchase the ink at the show, and then if there is any stock left over after the show, it will then be available to purchase on the Papier Plume website. I am curious to see how the show goes. Um, unfortunately, even though the show is only about a half hour away from my house, I will not be attending this year. I miss going to shows and I really want to attend, uh, but we are being exceedingly cautious in my household. Uh, introducing ourselves back into society is a personal decision and uh, different people are going to have different comfort levels. Uh, while I am fully vaccinated, there are others in the house who are close, but not quite there yet. And until that happens, like I said, we're being cautious. Uh, by no means am I saying that folks should not attend. Uh, like I said, it is a personal decision for everyone. Um, I hope the show goes very well, though. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll feel comfortable going back to shows. Uh, I've made it a hotel reservation for the DC show, just in case I decide to go there. But I'll make up my mind about that show a little closer to the date. Uh, I miss seeing friends and other folks in the pen community. So I'm looking forward to things getting back to somewhat normal as soon as possible. Okay, let's take a look at this ink. And in order to do so, please join me over here at camera two. Here is the bottle. Uh, Carolina In My Mind is a song by James Taylor. It was written back in 1968 and documents Taylor being homesick for his home state of North Carolina while he was spending an extended time in England recording an album. Uh, the song has become an unofficial state anthem for North Carolina and uh, has close ties to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, where it is played at sporting events and it's a song sung by the graduating class at each university commencement. Uh, here on the bottle, we have North Carolina, uh, as well as some flowers, which are the dogwood flowers, which are the state flower. Uh, Papier Plume always does a really nice job with their uh, labels and customizing them to the ink. And I always enjoy the wax seal on top as well, and kind of the wax dripping. This is what the ink looks like. Um, it's a nice subdued teal. Uh, here it is with a Roaring Klingner Smardegrun. I know I'm butchering that. Uh, here it is with Colorverse Photon. Uh, this is another color verse. It's called Goulet Hustle, which was an exclusive for Goulet pens. And then here it is with the Monteverde DC Super Show teal. This is what the ink looks like on some old Tomoe River paper. Uh, you can see here, this is more of a smear, and then this is more of a, a Q-tip application. With the heavier application, you can get a, a bit of shading to it, but for the most part, it's a solid color. Uh, in regard to bleed through, there's a little here, but I apply a lot of ink, so that's to be expected. So here we have Papier Plume Carolina in my mind. Uh, I always think it's interesting here on this Rhodia 80 gram paper how the ink doesn't necessarily play well with the actual lines in the paper. So there is a little bit of shading in here, but a lot of that is due to the actual lines in the paper itself. Um, I do find that the ghosting and bleed is low on this paper, as well as the uh, uh, Tomoe River paper here. You can see very little ghosting or bleed. Um, the shade, I'd say, is more medium, and the sheen is on the low side. In regard to pens, uh, I wanted to use a couple of pens here from Papier Plume itself. The first one being the Wetland Cypress. Uh, this was an exclusive offering uh, through Papier Plume uh, that is still available. And I think there's a review of this one on my channel. And I think the clip on this pen is amazing. Uh, it's done by a New Orleans-based jeweler. And it's just one of the most unique clips I've seen on any pen. Uh, and so this is something I'd highly recommend checking out. And so we have the Wetland Cypress, and this is a medium stainless steel nib. 
Then next up, we have a brand new pen from Leonardo, and that is called the Magico. Now, I'm not quite sure if, if this is going to be called the Memento Magico or just the Magico. Uh, this is the kind of matte black version, uh, and it's a little bit different than some of the other Memento Zeros. The section is different, uh, and then it's hard to see because I have it inked, but there is a nice ink window in this model as well, and it is a piston filler. So we have the Leonardo... We'll just call it the Magico for now. And this is a broad stainless steel nib. And then in regard to one more pen from Papier Plume, we had an exclusive offering called the Blues. And this uh, has a flex nib from Stylographica on here. So we have the Papier Plume. the blues and we'll just say that this is a flex nib and you can see that it is quite flexible okay in regard to a writing sample uh, since James Taylor was talking about Missing Carolina, I uh, decided to talk about some of the things that uh, that I enjoy about the state. Uh, I grew up in Southern California, but moved here maybe about uh, 12, 13 years ago. Uh, and there is a lot of nice things to enjoy about this state. I said that North Carolina experiences all four seasons, depending on the year. As I said, coming from Southern California, uh, you don't have much in the way of winter. Now, you could always drive to the mountains uh, and do skiing and things like that. But in regard to uh, like a regular winter, uh, we, I say we experience that sometimes. The temperatures get a little cool uh, during the winter here, but uh, some years we have more snow than others. I don't mind a little bit of snow. I've always liked uh, to say that I, I like to uh, rent the snow. I don't like to own it. So if I have to go out and shovel my car, uh, you know, once a year or twice a year, then that's kind of fun. But if I had to do that every single day to get my car out of the driveway, I think that might get a little old. But I'm enjoying the uh, seasons here in North Carolina. Next up, we have the Magico. Oops, I went a little bit out of the page there, but you get the idea, technology. Uh, I said higher education, science, and technology are a big focus of the region. Uh, with all of the large universities, we have University of North Carolina, we have NC State, there is Duke, uh, even Wake Forest isn't that far away from the Raleigh-Durham area. Uh, there's a, a lot of higher education and a focus on that in the region, uh, as well as we, I live very close to the Research Triangle Park, which has a lot of uh, company headquarters and large facilities for a lot of tech as well as biomed companies uh, in the area. So that's just kind of nice that that's a focus in the area. And then finally here with the blues...
I said that within a couple of hours, you could be in the mountains or at the beach. Uh, and in the Raleigh-Durham area, it's not too far from Charlotte or D.C. or even Atlanta. So, uh, you know, growing up in Southern California, you could pretty much, if you wanted to drive, you could drive to L.A. or, or Vegas as a little bit of a drive. But other than that, it's a very long drive if you want to go anyplace else. And so it's been nice living on this half of the country where there's been some other areas to explore. I would say here that the flow on this ink is medium to high. And in regard to drying time, it does take a little while to dry. With both medium and broad, it was anywhere between 15 and 30 seconds. Um, let's go ahead and do a water sample. Let's test its waterproofness. And while that's sitting here for a second, let's take a look at some chromatography. I like the way that this ink separated out. Uh, you could really see here that there's a lot of pinks and yellows and greens and then some blues and even some darker blues. And this is what the chromatography ended up looking like. Um, I really like how it breaks out like that. I like the inks that do that as opposed to ones that are just kind of different gradients of the same color. And then in regard to this ink... Um, it doesn't claim to be waterproof, and it doesn't hold up to that, so it's not something that I would consider to be waterproof. I said here that Papier Plume Carolina, in my mind, is a subdued teal, which is fairly wet and not overly saturated. Um, it is a nice addition to the Papier Plume ink lineup. So there we have Papier Plume Carolina in my mind. Um, if you are going to be at the Triangle Pen Show, I'd highly recommend picking up one of these bottles uh, of limited edition ink. Uh, I believe they generally sell for right around $8. I could be mistaken. It's either $8 or $10. We'll see what it ends up being on their website. But generally, that's the price of their ink. So like around the $8 to $10 range. Um, and if they have any inventory left over, it would be well worth checking out their website uh, early next week to see if uh, they have any available because it's a, a nice solid ink. So until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.